She's your sister, but she looks nothing like you. Or Cherie. Is she adopted? Maybe she is. Who knows? This happened all the time, but I remember this time clearly like it happened yesterday. I was five years old, and my eight-year-old twin sisters had been forced to take me along to one of their friend's birthday parties. Every time their friends met me, they couldn't believe we were related. Why? You might be wondering. Shira and Cherie were gorgeous in the conventional sense. Because who really gets to define beauty anyway? I didn't look like them at all. But I didn't think that anything was wrong with me until their friends started pointing it out. Usually to make myself feel better, I just watch TV, eat junk food, or play my favorite mobile game, Raid Shadow Legends. Psst, it's also available on PC. If you haven't heard of this awesome game yet, then you're missing out big time. Raid Shadow Legends is this crazy cool game where you can use champions and strats to defeat enemies. Personally, I think Raid's graphics are unlike any other mobile game I've seen before. Like seriously, check out this champion! Her name is Lysandra. Doesn't she look amazing? She's a part of the High Elves faction and provides great defense for your team. The other thing I love about Raid is how easy it is to become immersed in its world so I can forget about things like my annoying twin sisters in real life. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention, recently Raid brought in a new enemy. The Hydra. This sick, multiple-headed beast who is basically one of the hardest enemies to defeat. It can share the pain and push damage from itself onto your team. It can scare your champions, rot them from the inside, cloak itself in a cloud of poison, and do a ton more crazy things. Currently, my goal is to beat Hydra, and it isn't easy. But I'm sure one of my strats will work one day. And when I do defeat him, the rewards will be worth it. If you haven't already tried out Raid, there is no better time than now. Use the link below in the description or scan the QR code right here. And new players will get a free starter pack with almost $30, including 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, 1 ancient shard, and a free mystery champion. But you better hurry. You will find these rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Big thank you to Raid for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to my story. Where were we? Oh yeah, my twin sister's friends were insulting me. Is Talia really your sister? She has a huge nose, and her eyes look weird. And why does her hair look like that? Messy and short. Did your twins actually see your mom pregnant? Maybe she found her in the trash. Just saying. What really hurt is that my sisters would never do anything to defend me. They just laugh along with their friends. <laughs> We're not sure. I think they found her on the doorstep. Not the trash. Even though she's so gross. One day, the tables turn though. But you need to keep watching if you want to find out how. As we got older, it's like my sisters became more beautiful and I just got weirder and weirder looking. Then puberty hit. And oh my gosh. First the hair. Then the smelly pits. Then pimples. Lots of them. I didn't know what to do to hide them. And sometimes, I wish I went to middle school during the pandemic just so I could hide it all. If I wore a mask then, everyone would have probably thought I was crazy. Anyway, my best friend Adriana was going through the same thing and that definitely helped. We had a lot in common and even though most people at school avoided us, we didn't care because we had each other. Pimple sisters! Pimple sisters! Some people would shout at us sometimes. I pretended that it didn't hurt, but sometimes I'd cry myself to sleep wondering why I couldn't look as perfect as my sisters. Then… something happened. Buenos dias, my dear estudantes! Today I have some very exciting news! An anonymous sponsor has decided to send our entire Spanish class to South America for one week! There you will be able to practice all the Spanish you've learned in this class, and you'll have some very exciting experiences! Everyone, take a consent form and make sure you return them to me by the end of the week. An anonymous sponsor? Adriana and I exchanged glances and we could barely contain our excitement. It felt like the time was dragging by until our big day. Now, I won't mention which country in South America because of the really crazy thing that happened there, which I'm going to tell you about soon. When we arrived, we were assigned rooms. And at first, my teacher put me to share a room with Rona the most miserable girl in my class. But Adriana and I begged her to put us together, and she eventually agreed. 
We spent our first few days going on random excursions and visiting schools so we could try to communicate in Spanish with people our age. I made some nice new friends and I added them on Facebook. But now to the weird part. One afternoon, our teacher let us walk around the town on our own. She just told us we had to meet her at a specific point at 5 o'clock, but we'd be allowed to do a bit of exploring until then. Adriana and I wandered into a flea market, filled with vendors who were trying to sell us random things. Shirts, spoons, jewelry, and even chairs. But one particular stall stood out to me more than the others. It was filled with differently shaped bottles of different colors, and what was even more interesting was that the man selling them didn't seem too interested in persuading anyone to buy. I walked over to him and <gasps> stared at the bottles. He pointed to my pimples, and I felt uncomfortable. I know I have pimples. Yeah! What's your problem? Rude! He pointed at my pimples again, then pointed to a fancy-shaped purple bottle. Oh… Is this a remedy for my face? He pointed at my pimples and then to the bottle again. He picked up the bottle and put it in my hands. I offered him some money, but he refused to take it. He smiled at me, then winked. Then he went to sit down and continued ignoring everyone and everything. Anyway, I forgot all about that bottle until I got home and started unpacking. After my shower that night, I opened the bottle. It smelled like fresh flowers. I poured a bit of the liquid onto my hand and rubbed it all over my face. The next morning, I woke up horrified. All my pimples had doubled in size! I stood in front of the bathroom mirror and let out a horrifying scream. The twins and my parents ran upstairs to see if I was dying or something. Oh my gosh! What happened to your face? I put something on it. I thought it was supposed to get rid of the pimples, but it made them worse. Worse is an understatement. Do they hurt? No. Well, get ready for school then. We'll figure this out later. Mom, no. I can't go to school like this. The show must go on. You can't stay home for one pimple. It's not one pimple. Those are like huge boulders on my face. Please don't make me go. You're going. I wanted to crawl into a hole and never leave. But I got ready for school and left the house. I tried to hide my face, but everyone at school seemed to stare at it a little more than before. I wished I could hide in a cave somewhere. When I found Adriana, I was nearly ready to start crying. Come with me. Please don't cry. Maybe you just had a bad reaction to whatever was in that bottle. We should have known not to try a free thing from a random weirdo in a strange country. We went to the bathroom and I stared in the mirror again. The bell rang and I told Adriana I'd join her later. I actually planned to hide away there all day, but I thought I'd try to pop a pimple to see what would happen. I washed my hands and got started on the biggest one. It felt really hard, so I pressed even harder and then… POP! A diamond fell out! Of my skin! After that, the scar instantly healed itself. It didn't even hurt at all. Whoa. Am I dreaming? I pinched myself a few times. And when I was sure that I was awake, I got started on the other pimples. I popped everything on my face, and by the time I was done, my pencil case was filled with tiny diamonds. My face was as smooth as a baby's butt, too. I couldn't stop staring at myself and smiling. The second bell rang, and I ran to my next class. Wow, Talia, what did you do to your face? Adriana stared at me, confused. I didn't know how to explain what just happened, so I told her it just cleared up on its own. Maybe it's one of these treatments that makes the situation worse before it gets better, she shrugged. For the next few days, I made sure to rub some of the solution on my face, then the next morning, I'd wake up with pimples all over. I'd find a private place to pop them, and then I'd collect the diamonds. Before I knew it, one of the drawers in my room was filled with them. And it was around the time that I decided I had to tell my parents what was going on. I showed my mom first, one afternoon when she got home from work. Mom, something weird is happening to my face. When I pop my pimples, diamonds come out. Yes, dear, and I fart glitter. Don't be silly. That's impossible. Now, 
Go get ready for dinner. Don't believe me? Well, come and see. I took her to the drawer and her eyes fell out of her head. She completely froze then looked at me in disbelief. Where did you steal those? Oh my gosh, my daughter is a thief. You're too young to go to prison. Where did I go wrong? Mom, stop being so dramatic. I told you they came out of my face. I'll show you tomorrow morning. You'll believe me then. The next morning, I called her to my room as I popped my pimples. She looked like she was about to faint. Well, let me take a few of those to a jeweler to make sure they're actually diamonds. After, we'll tell your father. Well, she came back that night with gleaming eyes and broke the news to the whole family. Talia's face is special! There are diamonds popping out of her face! Did you have a hard day at work, dear? Do you need me to rub your feet or something? I'm serious! Come see! She led my dad and my sisters to my room and showed them my stash. Where did you steal these from, Talia? And how? I didn't steal any of it, Dad. So, how did this happen? I told them all about the trip to South America and the man who was selling lots of strange colored bottles. I told them what he gave me and showed them my purple bottle. I explained everything and they all stood there speechless. Well, dear, this is definitely the strangest thing I've ever heard in my life. But it's certainly a blessing. If we sell all of this, we can pay off our mortgage and send you three to college debt-free. We might be able to do so much more if you continue. For the first time in my life, I felt more valuable and interesting than my sisters. I want some on my face! Me too! Before I could stop them, my stupid twin sisters grabbed my bottle and started putting the solution on their faces. They went to their rooms, smiling at each other. But it didn't work out too well. I woke up with my usual massive pimples, but my sisters? They were covered in purple boils. They remained positive before they started to freak out. Maybe we have a different stone in there, not diamonds. Hmm? Maybe it's more valuable than diamonds. Let's try to pop them and see. They tried to pop the awful looking boils, but they didn't succeed at all. I ended up rolling on the floor laughing. Finally, I was the beautiful one and they were the ugly sisters. Stop laughing! We'll get this off our face eventually! But they didn't. Days passed and the horrible purple boils stayed. They didn't get bigger or smaller. They just stayed. And the best thing was that my parents forced them to go to school. Meanwhile, my face kept making diamonds. My parents had managed to sell most of them and they gave me loads of money to spend on myself. I bought tons of fashionable clothes, shoes, perfumes, bags, everything. Then I gave myself a total makeover. I dyed my hair, did my eyebrows, the whole works. In the morning I'd look horrible, but after I popped my pimples, I looked gorgeous. Guys were starting to ask me out and I was finally dating Ryan. My biggest crush since I was in kindergarten. It was like a dream come true and it continued to get better and better. My sisters became jealous of all my money too and they asked me and my parents to share. My parents let me make the decision and I said no. It was time for them to experience what it was like to be ugly and unloved. Maybe if they'd been nicer to me, I would have considered it. Still, this had to remain a secret. And while I wanted to share with Adriana, I couldn't. So I decided to use some of my new fortune to start a skin treatment business. My mom and dad helped me to employ some of the best researchers. We bought a building and used it as a laboratory. After about a year, they had come up with a product they considered to be revolutionary. It was tested on Adriana and her skin almost instantly cleared up. We started to market the product and in no time, I rose to fame. My beauty product was sold at some of the biggest department stores and pharmacies. The solution in my purple bottle was finished, but it didn't matter anymore because I had made enough money to last me for the rest of my life. And I had a skin treatment that actually worked. I could even drop out of school if I wanted to because I already had a very lucrative business. I was invited to talk shows to talk about the product and what inspired me. I could tell them the complete truth, but one part I definitely didn't lie about was that I wanted to help girls to feel more confident about their skin. I guess you're also wondering what happened to my sisters. 
Well, I eventually felt sorry for them and I let them use my skin treatment. They look better now, but they're not back to 100% and maybe that was deliberate. Be nice to people you find unattractive, because someday the tables might turn. <laughs>